Okay, the question is find the currents I1 through I4 and the voltage V0 in the circuit of figure 3.42. Okay, we are asked to find out what is I1 until I4 and then V0. What is V0? V0 is the voltage here. So let's name that node here as node V0. So this is... Uh, all of this from the here until that here is all V0 here. Okay, and this is our reference node. So we will have this one here. This symbol is our reference node. Reference node, or some people say it that this is the ground node. And what does that mean? That means that the voltage here, V, is equal to zero, right? Because this is the reference node. So this one will be zero, right? And the first step to do nodal analysis is to, one, label the nodes. And then the second one, the second step is to what assume the direction of the currents assume the currents direction but we already given that i1 is going down i2 is going down i3 is going down and i4 is going down and we have these two brands left but I just but that is a current source brand so I just follow the arrow of the current source so this one is going down and this one is going up right and then what else that we can do we can do KCL the Kirchhoff current law do KCL for each node However, in this case here, we only have one node here, which is V0. So we only need to do KCL at V0. So we will have to do KCL at node 0. Let's do KCL for node 0, V0. What does KCL say? KCL says that the sum of the current that goes in is equal to the sum of the current that goes out, right? And let's see what the current goes in to the node V0 here. The only current that goes in is this 8 ampere. So let's write that. So we'll have 8 ampere as the current that goes in. And that is only one current that goes in. All the other currents, I1, I2, I3, this 20 ampere, and then I4 are going out. So we will have this one here is equal sign. Now let's see, I1 plus I2 plus I3, and then plus 20 here, and then plus I4. Good. Now maybe let's subtract 20 for each side so we will have minus 12 on the left hand side and then we will have i1 plus i2 plus i3 and then plus i4 okay but i1 until i4 is unknown so we need to find that out using ohm's law right what is i1 i1 is v0 here the current came from V0 and the current goes to the reference node. So we will need to write it as V0. V0 is the node where the current came from and then minus 0 where the current goes to. It goes to the reference node divided by and that. And then what else? We can do the same thing for I2. The current came from V0 so we'll have V0 and the current goes to the reference node so we'll have minus 0 so we'll have 20 here and again we can do the same for I3 so we'll have V0 
minus 0 divided by 30 and finally we will have this one here t0 minus 0 divided by 60 right okay all t0 minus 0 is just t0 so we will have minus 12 is equal to t0 over 10 plus t0 over 20 plus t0 over 30 and then plus t0 over 60 good now we can multiply both sides by 60 why because all the denominator here 10 20 30 and 60 will cancel into this 60 so we will have minus 12 multiplied by 60 that will be minus 720 and this one will be 6 t0 plus 3 t0 and then plus 2 t0 and then plus t0 right and this one will be 9 plus 2 11 11 plus 1 so we'll have minus 720 is equal to 12 t0 right and so we can divide 12 to both sides so we will have minus 60 minus 60 and the unit here will be volt and this is one of the variables that asked by the problem right because we will have t0 here okay what's next uh, we need to find out i1 through i4 so that is the last step that we need to do for this problem answer the question okay but our slide is full maybe let's erase this thing first okay so we have t0 here but from there we can calculate i1 through i1 let's see what is i1 here i1 is equal to where the current came from it came from t0 then minus where the current goes to it goes here so we'll have t0 minus 0 divided by the resistance between them which is 10 okay so we know that t0 is minus 60 let's plug that in so we will have minus 60 over 10 and therefore i1 is equal to minus 600 good put this into a box and that is the value of i1 okay now do the same game for i2 i3 and i4 so i2 is t0 minus 0 divided by 20 and so we will have minus 60 minus 0 divided by 20 or that will equal to minus 60 divided by 20 therefore i2 will be equal to minus 300 good okay now let's do i3 let's start to get boring from here t0 minus 0 divided by 30 and so we'll have minus 60 minus 0 divided by 30 so we will have minus 60 divided by 20 therefore i3 is equal to minus 300 good and then what else we also have this game for i4 so we will have t0 minus 0 divided by 60 so we'll have minus 60 minus 0 divided by 60 no no minus, not minus 60 don't make any mistake in the last part so we'll have minus 60 divided by 60 therefore i4 is equal to minus 100 and i think we have answered all the question because we know all the currents i1 through i4 and also t0 right this one this one this one this one and this one 
thank you for watching and see you in the next video bye bye